everyone, my name is Susan and this is Chick Flicks. And today I'm going to be reacting to another episode of The Walking Dead, Season 2, Episode 5, Chupacabra. So last episode, Lori, oh, mm, we're pregnant. Yep, I knew that. I knew that was coming. Um, this episode, I have no idea what's going to happen. I don't know if they're going to leave Herschel's farm or whatever. I have no idea. Um, and Glenn got lucky. So go Glenn, team Glenn. So let's just get right into this episode and see what it's all about. This is obviously in the past. So it's, yeah, that's Sophie. I'm guessing this is when they, go school, they all came together, baby, right? Baby, I sure hope so. I'm hungry. I... Ed, chill. What the hell did you tell her that for? We don't even know these damn people. Yeah, um, damn. Operational security. How long do you think this stuff's gonna last? You... Sorry, I wasn't thinking. Oh man. I'm just thinking of right in his face. Emergency broadcast system, Scott. That recording about the refugee center. We just got up ahead a little bit and see if we can find someone who knows what's going on. I won't go with you. <laughs> no, Carl, you stay. Why would they stop broadcasting about the refugee center? Oh, no. You think they're turning people away? Wow, everybody just standing around, nice. not knowing what the hell's going on. An explosion? Yeah, military planes. Helicopters. That's not lightning. You stay with nope, me. Nope, that is not lightning. Are they bombing cities? Yeah. That's what I thought. <clears throat> Napalm. Wow. Big kitchen of theirs got me thinking. I wouldn't mind cooking in a real kitchen again. Kitchen. And cook dinner for Herschel and his family tonight. Sounds good. Everyone's getting new search grids today. She might have gone further east than we've been so far. I'd like to help. I know the area pretty well. So okay, who are you? Herschel's okay with this. Ask you. All right, then. Thanks. Nothing about what Daryl found screaming Sophia to me. Everybody includes her, right? Oh, whoever slept in the cover was a little bigger than yay high. Yay high. I'm gonna borrow a horse. Head up to this ridge right here. Get a bird's eye view. Of the yeah, whole get bed. him a horse. Chupacabra. Chupacabra. Oh, you never heard this? Daryl tells us that the whole thing reminds him of the time when he went squirrel hunting and he saw a chupacabra. Chupacabra. Say it three times fast. Chupacabra. Chupa. Chupa. <laughs> Shit. For now, he can come with us. He's yours to babysit, then. Glenn with the guitar. Nice. I like it. It's gonna be awkward now, right? Nice guitar. Deal found it on the highway. We still have 11 condoms. Okay, you see 11 condoms? I see 11 minutes of my life I'm never getting back. I love it. I don't even know like you, but you're thinking about it. You should. Oh, he's getting feelings for her. For sure. It's a good idea to mark the trees of where everybody's looked already. Every able body at your disposal out scouring these woods for a little girl we both know is likely dead. Oh, probably not. It's not my call, is it? I'm asking. I'm asking. Survival, Rick. You've got this knack, man. You spread us thinner and thinner. I'm trying to save lives here, and you're out saving cats from trees. I 
sometimes we get caught up to look for a missing child, man. You got 72 hours, 72 hours, and after that, you're looking for a body. Honestly, think we're just gonna find Sophia alive? Are you that sure we won't? We're being completely honest. Math, man. Alive or not, Sophia, she only matters to the degree in which she don't drag the rest of us down. She wanted honest. We just moved on, man. We'd be halfway to Fort Benning right now. Out here, we're risking lives. Your own son almost died, man. Otis, she paid that bill. What the hell are we still doing I this? And trusted me. I, I failed her. If I hadn't, she wouldn't be out here. I think she's still alive, and I'm not gonna. Off. She could be. She could be alive. I really want her to be alive and find her ASAP. Okay, that's Daryl. <laughs> He's got a horse. They could just make a whole show about Daryl on a horse with this bow and arrow thing. I'd watch it. It's a it's a it's a doll. Did she have a doll when she ran off? Sophia! Yeah, come on, Daryl. Oh, 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 it's gonna scare the horse. Oh, uh, the snake, snake. Ah! Uh. Uh. Oh, no. Oh my god, it just gets worse and worse. Is he gonna have an injury now? Oh, shit. Oh my god. Well, he lost his, his bow thingy. What is he thinking? Shit. What's happening? Is it gonna be T-Dog and the others? Yeah, you don't have the thing. Oh, we found it. Okay. Oh my god. Oh, he's still got the doll. You're pregnant. Uh-huh. You can't tell anybody. Don't tell anybody. It's always, don't tell anybody. Don't tell anybody. You haven't told him yet? It's one of the two. I mean, I'm guessing that we're not going to find out who the father is, really. She's just going to play it off like it's her husband's. I just had a long talk with Shane. He wants to call off the search. No. What if it was Carl? Would you want us to keep looking? If it was Carl, yes. I'd want to know one way or another. Shins are making us weaker. But I can't make the hard decisions for the good of the group. They're all hard decisions. Well, Shane wants to go to Fort Benning. He says it's math, basic survival, how much fuel, how much food, how much ammo. Not much room in that equation for being soft. None of us were prepared to be living life this way. You want sure. to make the best decisions you can with the information you have. I don't. My dad wants to talk to you. New chick. Come on, Daryl. Oh man, he is so strong. Oh my god, there he goes again. Oh. What am 
my horses is missing. Did one of your people take it? Yes, Herschel. I'll have a word with Daryl. And Jimmy? You took him out today. Yeah. Get it outright. I took the boy at his word. Jimmy is 17. He's not my kid. 17? Kin, but I am responsible. Well, it sounds like we need to work on our communication. That's right. What do you suggest? Keep it simple. Control my people. You control yours. Okay. Fair enough. Cool. We're really focusing on Daryl in this episode. I really want him to find Sophia so bad because that would really boost his spirits up and then he could focus on Merle and getting Merle back. Is that Merle? Looks like Merle to me. Why don't you pull that arrow out? Unless he's... Unless he's hallucinating, like... Oh. Hmm. What's going on here? You taking a siesta or something? You're the one screwed from the looks of it. All them years I spent trying to make a man of you. Sophia. I lost a little girl. So you got a thing for little girls now? Mm. She went out looking for old Merle no more. Try like hell to find you. Oh my god. Like hell you do. Rick that cuffed me to the rooftop in the first place. Forced me to cut off my own hand. Just... You're nothing but a freak to them. Redneck trash. Oh. They're laughing at you behind your back. You know that, don't you? They're gonna scrape you off their heels like you was dog shit. No. They ain't your kin. Your blood. Nobody ever gonna care about you except me, little brother. Get up on your feet or I have to kick your teeth in. Oh God, is it? Yeah, oh my God. I was gonna say, is it it's something else? Oh shit. Oh, he looks really pissed. Oh, that, yeah, that is not good. Get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. Get him! Damn. Wow, Daryl is just fighting for his life at all different angles. Some old bitch was right. Right about what? Oh my god. Uh... What's the matter, Darlena? That all you got in Darylina. Yeah. Over that person climbed. Come on, Darylina. Your side. Yeah. Since when? Hell, since the day you were born, baby brother. Somebody had to look after your worthless ass. I'm as real as your chubacabra. I know what I saw. <laughs> and I'm sure them shrooms you ate had. You best shut the hell up! For what? You gonna come up here and shut my mouth for me? Kick off them damn high heels and climb, son. <laughs> you got it, you got it, you got it, pull. Oh! Mm. He did it. Yeah, you better run! What's this? Lori and Carol are cooking dinner for us all tonight. Well, that's the first I've heard of. <laughs> Herschel! We need to be setting clear boundaries with these people. They're getting a little too comfortable. What's going on with you and the Asian boy? Glenn, he's a friend. Well, you don't have to chase me around. I'm not 16. I know you're not. 
Please don't make things harder than they need to be. I'm a little old for us to be having this conversation. <laughs> don't get close to them. They're not going to be around forever. He's just trying to protect everybody from getting too close to strangers because they're just going to leave. I don't know. Or maybe Herschel's just set, like set in his own ways. Dale? You think Andrea's on her period? What? It's like all the women are acting really weird. And <laughs> when women spend a lot of time together, mm -hmm. their cycles line up. Yeah. What can happen? Keep that theory to yourself. <laughs> yeah. Who else is acting weird? Maggie? She started off being mean to me. Then she wanted to have sex with me. I didn't even want to know what's going on with Lori. What's going on with Lori? Don't tell. Nothing. Nothing. I, I don't know. All right, let's, let's take this back a step. <laughs> How do you know that Maggie wanted her to have sex with you? Oh. Oh, Sonia didn't. <laughs> I mean, did it ever occur to you how her father might feel? She's 22. Yeah, is she going to tell him? And he is our host? Mrs. Glenn, what were you thinking? I was thinking that I might be dead tomorrow. That's right. Walker! Walker! No, that's just Daryl. I bet I can nail it to you. No, no, Andrew. It's just little Daryl. <laughs> oh, she's gonna do it anyways. It's okay, you're gonna shoot Daryl. Andrea, don't! Back off, Dale. Daryl? Duh! Third time you pointed that thing on my head. Oh, they thought he was bit. Okay. Holy shit. No! Andrea. Herschel, we need your help again. Whoops. <sighs> okay. That's not too bad, I guess. Like, just. Unconscious. He's just grazed now. But look at him. What the hell happened? Look, he's wearing ears. Let's keep that to ourselves. Guys, isn't this Sophia's? I think he was onto her trail. I found a washed up on a creek bed right there. Yeah. She must have dropped a crossing her somewhere. Hear what happened to my horse? Yeah, one almost killed me. Smart, it left the country. Nelly, as in nervous Nelly. Oh. Told you she'd throw nervous it Nelly. Ask. No wonder you people have survived this long. Herschel just keeps digging in, doesn't he? He's just like, you would have checked in with me. I would have told you that. You'd quit now. Daryl just risked his life to bring back the first hard evidence we've had. Yeah. I see Daryl almost died today for a doll. Yeah, I know how you see it. That's something, though. That gives everybody hope. Oh, I'm right. I may not agree with all of his choices, but I respect him. The world is you and Carl. So I apologize if I appear to be insensitive to Really? Yeah. Seriously, Shane. My son and I are not your problem anymore. Or your excuse. Oh, here we go with Dale and Andrea. How's he doing? He'll be fine. I shot Daryl. Don't be too hard on yourself. We've all wanted to shoot Daryl. I just want those two to be best friends again. Nurse Red, are you coming? Mm -hmm. 
It's like the kid table. The grown-up table. Wow, nobody is saying anything. Somebody's got to go on a play. I just did. Yes, and he was very good, too. I thought she didn't want to have sex with him again. Poor Daryl. How are you feeling? Like shit? As good as I look. Aww. I did more for my little girl today than her own daddy ever did in his whole life. Damn. Do anything Ricochet wouldn't know. I know. I kind of have a feeling that this is going to get interrupted. Oh man, she's booking it. Or he's not supposed to be in there? Okay, is Herschel hiding something? Yeah. Oh yeah, let's have sex there. Great. You were supposed to see this. That's it? That's the end of the episode? Okay, so that was the end of me watching episode 5, season 2, The Walking Dead. Um, jeez, Daryl went through some horrible stuff unbelievable i'm surprised he's in one piece and uh andrea shot him in the head it just grazed him but still like you got shot in the head man um man i just i, I want him to go back out and just keep looking for her because i think he was on the right trail i think he was like really close to finding her and then merle was coming back like kind of in his mind tricking him, you know, you can't do it, blah, 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 whatever. Um, and just kind of motivated him to just get up and keep going. And Herschel, I think, is just getting really annoyed with the company. And I think he's just hiding those zombies for some kind of reason. I don't know, maybe he's experimenting on them because he's also, you know, a doctor, a veterinarian. Um, I don't know, man. I'm just, I can't wait to see the next episode. It is called Secrets. It's called Secrets. Okay, so I'm going to leave it here and I'm going to go watch Secrets right now. I can't wait. I'm excited. So if you enjoyed my reaction, please give me a thumbs up. I would really appreciate it and subscribe to my channel. That would be awesome. I'd love to have you here. And let's talk about uh, this episode and how Daryl was totally awesome in the comment section. So um, I will talk to you guys in the next one. Bye.